TGIF everyone! How are you guys? It's Katie Joy from Without a Crystal Ball. Yesterday I teased about Joe Judice and his girls being reunited in Italy and I got distracted with 800,000 other topics. So today we're going to talk about Joe and Teresa and the girls. So if you're living under a rock, Mr. I wrote bad mortgages and defrauded a lot of people for millions of dollars, has been released from ICE detention and he was deported to Italy. Um, Joe was arrested and convicted <laughs> in 2013. He served three and a half years and then another five or six months in ICE detention center. He had was born in Italy, never became a citizen, and for some reason lived in the United States without obtaining his citizenship, even though his entire family got their citizenships. And because of his crime being a massive crime against the federal government, they deported him. And they are still trying to work through all of the, I don't even know, appeals. He's lost his appeal, they're still appealing, but at this point, because he's left the country, it's highly unlikely that any appeals at this point would be won and he will have to remain more than likely in Italy for the next 10 years, which would be the next time he would be allowed back to visit the United States. Yikes. Not to mention he has four daughters, one who just uh, graduated from high school and is now attending Rutgers University, Gia. And um, the family had not, didn't visit him, wasn't able to get to Italy apparently right after he is released due to the schedules of the girls in school. And finally, long ado, they are now in, long overdue, I suppose, um, Teresa and the girls arrived in Italy. Um, Bravo TV actually uploaded a video yesterday which sort of discussed their journey where Teresa was sitting down with the girls talking about their flight. Um, apparently, according to that video, Teresa said that they, had, they flew from uh, where they were at, either in New York and New, New Jersey. I'm guessing they flew out of New York to Milan and then from Milan to Naples and then from Naples they went to Saladino um, and apparently that was a two hour car drive. Um, when she was explaining the trip to her girls they were a little bit upset because apparently it was going to be more than 10 hours of traveling and it's a long day for them so I don't blame them. Traveling international is a pain in the butt. But they finally arrived and Joe quickly shared some photos on Instagram. So there he is with Gia. and Melania. And then there's Gia talking in her comments about how much she loves them with all her art. And there's the family with the girls. And it's interesting because on Instagram, Joe has shared um, a photo, this photo of him and the family. You can tell that he and Teresa are pretty far apart um, when they're in there. Um, he hasn't actually shared a single photo of the two of them together which is again sort of interesting. Um, all of the photos have been with him and his daughters. And then he took the girls out to go dancing and I have some video of that that I'll share in a second. And it's interesting because when they went out to go dancing, they had the cameras in tow. You'll see Melania has a microphone pack on her back. So um, this entire episode or this entire exchange is being, you know, it's going to be on Real Housewives of New Jersey, of course, because, you know, they're on the show and so therefore they should, they probably want to make a buck out of it. Um, and according to all these tabloids, Teresa's is making a pretty penny for this trip. Um, there he is with Melania. And then this is interesting. Oh, S Salerno. They're in Salerno. Um, there's Teresa and it's, Joe shared the photo, but it's Teresa and the girls. So there's Teresa. Joe and the girls and then Teresa and the girls, but there's no like Joe and Teresa, okay? Um, and right before they actually left, they sat down with Andy Cohen and in an intense interview, they talked about the end of their, the status of their relationship. They both talked about how they both believe the other one has cheated. Um, Joe was talking about photos that were, were seen of her walking hand in hand with a boy. Um, Teresa flatly denied that there was anything going on with that. Um, she also admitted to Andy that she was no longer attracted to Joe. She didn't really feel like she was in love with Joe. She was talking about her relationship in the past tense. 
Um, she was quoted as saying, I'm waiting until I get there to see if I feel differently. I just feel like when you live apart, he says the same thing. When he sees me, he may not want this either and we'll know when we see each other. Um, and she said, I want to wake up with someone every day. I think they get it. I don't think they want to see it happen, obviously, but I think they understand talking about a divorce because that way I explained it to them. How are we going to live apart? I don't think he would be faithful. I think he would have someone there and have me here and I just don't want that to be my life. So she was like talking about the relationship in the past tense, talking, she's already been talking to the girls about the potential of getting a divorce. And Joel responded by saying, if we stay together, we stay together. If we don't, we don't. It's a conversation, we'll see. As long as she's happy, that's all that really matters. I'm not going to tell her what to do. And if she doesn't feel like she wants to be with me anymore, then that's the thing to do. So Joel actually seemed pretty uh, like re resigned to the fact that the relationship was over. And it's she was she again spoke about it like she didn't really have any interest in staying with him again they'd been apart for about over four years at this point she served 15 months in prison he served three years seven months so there they are traveling okay so then he actually shared some fo he shared a video of his girls and they he took them out dancing and it's actually kind of sweet it's nice to see the girls smiling um on the most recent episode of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, um, Gia and the girls were all sitting down in the kitchen with their mom and their grandfather, Teresa's dad, talking about Joe. At the time when, the air, when it was filmed, he was one week away from completing a sentence and then they were discussing how he was going to be transferred to ICE detention and how they were going to be working on appeals, but the appeal process could take quite a long time and he may not win. Um, Gia was sad about how she was graduating from high school, going to prom, and going to be leaving for college, and her dad wasn't going to be there. Um, she recently started attending Rutgers University in New York, um, and she said that at least for her sisters, her dad will be here, and then Teresa actually corrected her and said, well, he might not be here, we really don't know, and Gia then said, well, at least he'll be out, which caused Melania to run out of the room and say, I don't even remember why. And then Gia started crying. So clearly it's an emotional time. The other housewives on this, on this episode are basically bitching about how much Teresa drinks and doesn't care about her kids. And Melissa was trying to keep peace and, you know, Teresa was fighting with everyone. So everyone pretty much hates Teresa and Teresa is a drunk according to the cast. All right, <laughs> a drunk cheater according to the cast. So um, coming into this, the girls actually went out with their dad. You'll see with Melania, she has a little pack, so this will probably show up on when it airs. humongous fan of Joe but it makes me really happy to see the girls smiling um, I'm not a huge fan of either one of the parents but to see the girls like so happy makes my mom heart really happy so and seeing them dancing with their dad I mean that's so cute that's so sweet those are memories that those girls are gonna treasure forever and it's probably a really nice um, like I don't know moment for them being that they've had such a hard few months um, and then Teresa was actually on her Instagram and she didn't share anything related to Joe. It's quite interesting. I'll show you what Teresa was sharing in her. I have a video from Teresa here. Um, and hers is different. It's not, she's not uh, actually sharing anything with Joe. It has 
uh, Melania chasing a bird, and it's it's still another sweet video that you'll see of the girls happy. Melania, what are you doing? <laughs> Melania, you're not gonna be able to grab that. <laughs> Melania, look at me. Oh, there it is. Melania. Eating out prawns. Ah, they look so cute. Let me see that shrimp. How do you even seafood prawns? It's interesting um, to see all of the pra those big shrimp. Oh, the way that they serve it in, in Europe is always so interesting. I spent time in Spain, so that brings back memories for me. But it's nice to see the girls happy. Um, I guess I never realized how much of a doppelganger uh, Miss Melania is of her mother, but it's definitely nice to see them smiling and happy. Um, it's very telling at this point that there is absolutely like no photos of the two of them together. Um, I'm guessing it's only going to be a matter of time, but for the couple actually calls it quits for good and files for divorce. Divorce. And on the show this past week, um, she was sitting down with one of her castmates and talking about, you know, what was going on with the legal case and talking about how she didn't think that he would be able to win, but she was willing to spend the money to pay for the appeals. And she said she was spending a lot of money to which the cast member that she was speaking to um, in an interview, I can't remember who she was talking to, to be honest, said that this entire appeal process Teresa is basically doing for Gia. It's Gia led, it's Gia driven, because in terms of the relationship, um, they felt that Teresa and Joe's relationship and marriage was over. Um, and in terms of like whether they addressed Teresa cheating um, in this episode as well, um, two of the girls felt like Teresa was cheating. Melissa said, I've heard he's just a friend and she defended her. Um, it was interesting because Melissa didn't want to take part at all in the bashing of Teresa and was trying to mediate everything and was sticking up for Teresa a little bit. And then um, the other friend was like, you know what, if the other girls think you're cheating, I'm just going to trust you, blah, blah, blah. Teresa didn't really seem like she was hiding anything. So maybe that guy was a friend. Who knows? Um, he was, she's really only ever been seen like with him holding her hand, walking to a car. Um, Andy Cohen made it seem like there was more going on. Um, we'll probably never know the truth, to be honest, because it's Teresa, and I don't know if she's always good with telling the truth. She still doesn't think she did anything wrong with relation to what she did in the fraud case. So, um, anyway, I am... Oh, hey, Rue! Welcome to chat, Rue. Super happy to have you. I see Rue in the chat. Rue is always happy here. Welcome here. Everyone will welcome Rue with open arms. Um, and oh, I should mention to Rue that I um, actually had a brief chat with Janelle last night. So um, I will be back later. Um, I'm going to check to see what's going on in the world of other stuff outside of Teen Mom. Um, and maybe we'll have some updates for your lovers about, for all of you Janelle lovers about Janelle Eason. All right, I'll be back later. Bye guys.